532 now, uh, our top local story, a new USDA regulation to improve disease traceability in sheep and goats has been published in the Federal Register. As Russell Nemitz shares in our Montana Ag Network report, the rule, which was first proposed in 2015, has been anticipated by the U.S. sheep and goat industry since 2016. Well, for the most part, the U.S. sheep and goat industry will not notice much of a difference in the Scrapey Eradication Program. However, the American Sheep Industry Association's Peter Orwick says some changes will be noticed by goat producers and those moving animals in slaughter channels or transporting unidentified sheep or goats. This latest uh, installment is a regulatory update. Uh, by USDA APHIS uh, to take the final step for eradication of scrapie in sheep in the United States. Uh, so for most producers, there won't be a change. Uh, if you're a goat producer, this rule brings you closer on par with what sheep producers have already been doing for nearly 20 years in uh, scrapie eradication an animal ID. He says the new rule finally recognizes all the hard work put forth by U.S. sheep and goat producers. APHIS is they're recognizing all the genetic testing that we've done over the last 15 years uh, to get scrapie resistance built into our commercial uh, herds, particularly into our purebred and breeding animals. Uh, they also want to recognize that uh, the sheep industry has uh, it's a great ID system that's, that really can't be replicated anywhere else in livestock. And Orwick says the new regulation also ensures the overall health and safety of U.S. sheep and goats to our customers. Exactly, and it really is oriented at, uh, you know, you want, you want breeding stock that you can sell that, uh, that are uh, disease-free, and you want to be able to trade uh, seed stock uh, with other countries. In Billings, Russell Nimitz, MTN News. Now, the new rule will take effect April 24th of this year.